on this week's episode, Web Slinging and Monsters. <laughs> Marvel Legacy continues with my pick of the week, Amazing Spider-Man 789. And just a reminder to the legacy numbering, this issue is following issue number 32. All the other various Spider titles are adding up to get to this number. When Parker Industries comes crumbling down, Peter has to pay the bills the best way he knows how with a return to the Daily Bugle. This is a Peter who had everything but lost it all, a return to the cat catch a break, underdog that we all know and love. Author Dan Slott has promised we will be seeing something new, that Peter is not simply just returning to photography. With art from Stuart Eminent, this will be an amazing issue to jump back on. Or if you've already been reading Spidey, this is your next issue after number 32. Consider this a countdown to issue 800 where something major will be happening. And new to merchandise this week is a flash from DC Icons. I know there's a lot of fans of this show and a lot of people ask for this figure during Christmas. Also from DC this week is a statue from Yumato Toys. It's Harley Quinn in one of her video game outfits. All month long of October, we'll be doing 20% off horror merchandise. So I just thought I would show you a few things to put you in the Halloween spirit. First up is a really great horror comic book from Image, Witches by Scott Snyder and Jock. This is an amazing creative team. Snyder is one of the best writers in the industry, and Jock's art is seriously mesmerizing. It's hard to put together a better combination than this. The overall gist of the story it revolves around the truth of witches. That they are dangerous, extremely elusive, ancient creatures. That all those people that were burned and drowned in witch trials were actually their devotees. This book follows a family who settles in a New Hampshire town and learns the truth. And just to be clear, this has been set in modern times. It's not the colonial era or the Salem witch trials. This is today's world versus ancient evils. It's a great read for October. And for merchandise, I have this Jason Voorhees statue. It's from Art FX in Kotobukiya. It's perfect for the horror collector, or you could set it out for an awesome Halloween decoration. I'm all stocked up on the Bloody Lucille variant. And of course, all Walking Dead merchandise will be included in the sale as well. And this one's actually Halloween themed. It's a Halloween Batgirl from the DC Bombshells. And Stranger Things is sponsoring this year's Halloween Comic Fest. It'll be on October 28th. We'll have free Halloween comics for the kids. And of course, 20% off all the horror merchandise. Thanks for watching. Remember to like this video for your chance to win. And I'll see you on Wednesday. This is clearly made for a child. <laughs> this is brutal in my life.